Hello, everyone. I'm Katie Fink, corporate retail entrepreneur and founder of Mind Body Soul Market. Launching in 2021, Mind Body Soul Market is an online marketplace with products, classes, and services to support individuals in their spiritual awakening journey. I am also a member of this year's Feely Mastermind community, and it is my great pleasure to introduce Donna DeCruz to you. Donna was born in India and raised in Australia. She has produced music, music with the native peoples of Australia and learned about their dream time. She went on to found Rasa Music, a woman-owned recording company that released world music and produced the music of Deepak Chopra and other recordings for meditation. Her meditations are truly wonderful. She travels the world as a celebrity DJ and leads people to ecstatic, profound experiences as they celebrate the biggest moments in their lives. Donna has been teaching and guiding meditations with music for years. She combined her love of music with her passion for awakening consciousness. Named the rock star teacher of meditation by Well and Good, Donna presents her signature Dip into Bliss experience globally and is part of PTTOW, World Summit, and has led weekly experiences for nine years at the Phoenix House. America's oldest drug and alcohol recovery institute, something near and dear to my heart as my ex-husband has struggled with addiction. So I really love that Donna does that. It's so important. Donna is now the lead meditation facilitator at Education Alliance. Donna has recently launched Sleep Meditations, a modern sleep solution to serve the 33% at least of Americans who, according to the CDC, have a sleep dysfunction. Her latest release, Anxiety, Letting Go Meditation, is a potent solution for our global pandemic today. It is my great pleasure to introduce Donna to you. Hello, my name is Donna DeCruz, and I am so proud and happy to be part of the Philly Coven. We are a tribe, a tribe of awakened individuals, a tribe of a collective that are embracing, linking arms with one another, not so that we can put anyone out, but so that we can have unbreakable bonds of the divine feminine in all of us that ideate, create, lead, push back, on the boundaries of what we think are our old stories. I have a story. I'm born in South India. I grew up in Australia. I now live in New York. My story can be one of resilience, just like yours. I came to America with $300, two telephone numbers and five didgeridoos. But that's part of my story. That's the past. Part of being a female entrepreneur. And let's acknowledge that this is the day of international women. And to me, that means not just women, that's the international day of the divine feminine, where we, as the collective and the individual, start awakening to listening, to following our hearts. In Sanskrit, this word, hiridyam, the spiritual center. What is your spiritual center? What elevates you? What ignites your fire? Like Rumi says, choose those who fan your flames. Choose those who fan your flames. Set your life on fire. As we invite the awakening of the divine feminine, that means that each of us have got to ask the questions. Where do our, where is the divine feminine? And that means our LGBTQ brothers and sisters, that means our diversity brothers and sisters, where are we on our manufacturing floors, where are we in our sales, in marketing, where are we in our boardrooms?
where are we featured everywhere so that it's time for us to not just talk about looking at the change and expecting there to be a change but to be the change as Gandhi says he is one of the great visionaries of the divine feminine of what it is to self-rule and to self-govern so pe people like Mother Teresa Ananda Myanmar who asked us to look at the self in a totally different way perhaps even folks like people that are running businesses today, Mindy Grossman, Shelley Zalis, J.K. Rowling, who said that she had to hit bottom in order to understand what she could create. Eleanor Roosevelt, there's lots of great feminine and feminists and divine feminine mischief makers and magic makers, and you're one of them, I'm one of them. To me, resilience means, like Mandela said, don't count the amount of times I succeeded and I rose but count the times that I absolutely failed, fell down, and I managed to rise up again. There's a Japanese then saying that says, seven times down, eight times up. So that's what this means, to roll up your sleeves, embrace education, embrace the divine feminine in yourself. That means listening to the deeper voice of intuition and getting out there, get busy, be focused and ask how not only what is in it for you, but how may I serve the world? To so get busy, wake up, and realize that we're all in it together. This is The Awakening, and I'm so happy and proud to be a leader and a supporter and a creator in the space of helping ignite the creative consciousness. So I create multi-sensorial experiences using sound, using consciousness meditation, to do nothing but to get you still enough so that you are reminded of your divine connection, your interconnectedness to all things. I, you, are part of the rivers, the oceans, the wind, the sigh, the heave and ho of Mother Earth. This is what we're part of. So this is what I'm happy to share with you today. I'm proud to be part of the sacred covenant and to be part of the sacred group, this Sangha, divine community. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. Say, I belong. And letting go. Feel the interconnectedness of all things in me and you.